The UK Labour Party has just held their annual party conference in Liverpool, which brought together hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters who waved Palestinian flags and chanted, Free Palestine. This while joining together for a rare debate in support of an immediate suspension of arms sales to Israel. And in fact, on Tuesday, the UK's main opposition Labour Party passed a motion that harshly criticized Israel and pledged to make several stark changes if Israel rises to more power. Delegates voted to admonish Israel's force against violent riots in the Gaza border, support more UK funding for the Palestinian refugee agency UNRWA, and freeze all British arms sales to Israel. The vote against Israel was put on the table by delegate and pro-Palestinian Corbyn supporter Colin Monaghan, who condemned United States President Trump's decision to defund UNRWA. And prior, on Sunday, Corbyn refused to offer an apology or express any remorse for several incidents in which he was accused of being blatantly anti-Semitic and anti-Israel. These included his attendance at a memorial for Palestinian terrorists, as well as his refusal to fully adopt the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism. Earlier this month, Corbyn undermined the alliance's definition by claiming that he's not being anti-Semitic by calling Israel a racist endeavor. Yet British Labour Party politician Emily Thornberry told delegates that anti-Semites in the party were using the Palestinian issue to promote hatred and racism, and she asked them to be removed from the Labour Party altogether. She said, quote, There are some sickening individuals in the fringes of our movement who use our legitimate support for Palestine as a cloak and a cover for their despicable hatred of Jewish people and their desire to see Israel destroyed, end quote. But the tense debate took place as almost 300 Israeli citizens, including artists, academics, and left-wing members of the Knesset, signed a letter supporting Corbyn and the Labour Party, writing that, quote, Corbyn has been subjected to sustained attacks for his supposed friendliness to anti-Semitism. We reject the substance of these accusations completely, end quote. Still, the ongoing crisis over anti-Semitism in the Labour Party has caused great fears among the Jewish citizens of the UK over their future in the country. A recent poll stated that if Corbyn becomes prime minister, 40% of Jewish citizens would seriously consider emigrating out of the country.